Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. The contract DLC brought back Franklin, Lamar, and Dr. Dre in a way that provided massive opportunities for future DLCs. The agency is a gateway to so many different possible plot lines that could easily be a television series. It's like Peter Gunn with more gratuitous violence. All that having been said, I've got an idea for an agency DLC that I think would have tremendous potential, and this is the pitch. First off, what do we know about the world of GTA from the contract DLC, specifically the short trips? We know that weed is legal, and the illegal drug dealers are lashing out at the legal ones, just like our good friend Lamar, who is a legal drug dealer. Doing that. Look, man, the essays hit my supply the other day. Now we going back and taking they shit out, nigga. Simple as that. But why? Weed's legal. Ain't Popo supposed to handle shit like that? Man, you sound more and more like a sneeze I ease it every day, man. What the man, fuck wrong with you, fuck man? Fuck you, dude. Second, what do we know about the real world and the plant called cannabis? We know that lots of people are already capitalizing on sales of the chemical known as CBD extracted from the plant. One of those people is Martha Stewart, who is marketing an extensive CBD line. Side note, I found this out while researching this plot, and was amazed that life was ahead of art in this case. So if marijuana is legalized in real life, it's quite possible that Martha's line will expand beyond CBD. And since there's a Dr. Dre in the world of GTA, we can assume it has its own version of Martha. And between Dr. Dre and Martha Stewart, there is a very compelling link. Snoop Dogg! So follow me on this. Let's give this DLC the working title of Don't Mess With M. Diddy, which was Martha's prison name. Google said it's true, so it must be true. In the GTA universe, Martha is selling products based on the devil's lettuce, and someone is trying to knock her out of the market, attacking her farms, or... As in-game Martha calls them, weed yards. With the police dumbfounded, as they always are in GTA, she talks about the problem with Snoop, who remembers Dre talking about how he got his music back. Dre puts him in contact with Franklin, and we're off. For the first mission, we meet at Marlowe Vineyards, which Martha has purchased to replace her damaged fields. She's considering keeping them for grapes, but her weed yard manager is, at this meeting, extolling the virtues of converting it to cannabis production. Of course it's Lamar. There's weed involved, so Lamar is involved. Here's where you find out Martha has subcontracted LD Organics to run things and Lamar is on top of the world. Franklin asks him why he didn't call about this. Lamar asks him if he has an anti-aircraft gun, since these MRFers are coming in from the sky! Franklin looks at you, and you nod if you have one, and shrug if you don't. Suddenly, as if on cue, because they are on cue, a batch of buzzards fly in and start attacking the meeting. You dispatch them with hand weapons and get the contract. And by hand weapons, I mean I hope you have a chain gun by this point in the game. From there, the possibilities are endless. These missions could be done the same way as the Short Trips missions with four people taking on the roles of Franklin, Lamar, Martha, and Snoop Dogg. Now, imagine the bad guy causing all the problems is El Rubio. Imagine a mission where a quartet of main characters are flying tulas over Cayo Perico, loaded with incendiary bombs to take out his fields, with Martha Stewart in the turret taking out buzzard after buzzard. The replay value would be unbelievable. I'm not sure what the ending would be, since you can't kill them off because the K.O. Perico heist is still a thing. Perhaps they could do a four-person heist in a short trip format, combining the short trip with the K.O. Perico heist, and just keep doing that over and over again to keep him on the defensive so he doesn't come after anybody. I don't want to flesh everything out. Rockstar needs some room for surprises. Just don't pull a Lance Vance for it with Lamar Davis. He's too beloved a character to go down like that. The last dance for Lance Vance. 
I could go for a scene where Martha just beats the ever-living heck out of El Rubio and gets them to promise to behave. That would be really cathartic after having been killed over and over and over on the Cayo Perico heist. And that's the pitch. And on that note, and actually on that pitch, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. <laughs>